Today's episode is sponsored by Embark. Joining me today is our dog, Indiana. Give her a thumbs up. I think you guys are gonna love today's video, especially if you're a fan of dogs and science. I've wondered about dog DNA tests for a long time now, so I was really excited when Embark came to me about making this video with them. And what I've learned about dog DNA tests is that they've come a long way. There is so much information in your dog's DNA, but bottom line, knowing your dog's genetic information can help them live longer and save you money. It's been way more fun than I imagined too. Obviously, I know Indiana really well. I live with her, we hang out all the time, but it's been so cool to learn things about her that you couldn't possibly know without this test. Finding out your dog's breed is only a tiny reason that you should get this test done. It's really easy to collect the sample too. You just swab your dog's cheek and drop it in the mail with the included packaging and postage and then just wait to hear back. All dog DNA tests are not equal and Bark has the most advanced accurate tests you can get. They use a hundred times more genetic information in their test so you'll get an easy to understand, super accurate, really awesome report on your dog's breed, traits, and most importantly, their genetic genetic health. Indiana's breed results were super surprising. I'll share that with you in a second. But there's really one reason that you've got to give this a lot of consideration, and that is your dog's health. 40% of our dogs will suffer from a genetic disease, and I think it's incredible that we live in a time where we can so easily find out what our dog's genetic conditions are, don't you? By knowing what to look for, you and your vet can begin preventative therapy and treatment as soon as possible. And they make it really easy to share results with your vet with a single click. We learned so many cool things from the results of the test, but we're really relieved to find out that Indiana is not at risk for any of the genetic diseases that Embark tests for. Indiana is obviously a mixed breed dog, so we didn't know exactly what her breed makeup was, but she does clearly have some Australian Shepherd in her. So we were really happy to find out that she doesn't suffer from multi-drug sensitivity, which is really common in herding breeds, and it can make it dangerous to give them certain types of flea medication. They'll even be able to tell you your dog's genetic age and and their ideal weight. And this is particularly great because we didn't know how old Indiana was when we adopted her. It turns out she's 12 years old, which sounds about right. We also learned that she needs to lose about eight pounds. If you know that your dog has a genetic condition, you can prepare in advance and take steps to avoid costly treatments later on. For example, you'll learn whether your dog is at risk for kidney and bladder stones, which can often be prevented with proactive diet changes. You'll also find out if your dog is at risk for common adult onset diseases like heart disease and glaucoma. This is the fun part. Ever since I found out the results of her family tree, I have not looked at Indy the same way. We've always assumed that Indiana is mostly Australian Shepherd, but get this, it turns out not only is she not mostly Australian Shepherd, she's not even mostly herding breed. She's only 28% Australian Shepherd. What could the other 72% be? If only there was a way we could find out. And Bark doesn't just stop at telling you the makeup of your dog's breed or mix of breeds. They actually let you trace your dog's lineage all the way back to their great grandparents. I mean, this is crazy. Check this out. Here you can see that Indy's parents were two mixed breed dogs, but it gets interesting once you look at her grandparents. See, on this side, one of her grandparents was an Australian Shepherd, like we expected and the other grandparent was a cattle dog mix. On the other side, one of her grandparents was a golden retriever, and this, this is my favorite part. Her other grandparent was a mix of a Labrador and a Chinese Sharpay. Now, I was slightly skeptical about the Sharpay part. However, there does appear to be some evidence. If you look at those ears right there, they look very sharp hay to me. The test was way more fun than I imagined, but it's more than fun because you get extremely valuable data. I mean, think about it. For the price of a few bags of dog food, you can know priceless information that could potentially extend your dog's life. If you're interested in having your dog's DNA tested, get up. You're obviously not a working dog, are you? Embark is giving 15% off when you enter code Zach George. I'll have all the details in the description. Give Indiana a big thumbs up. She did a great job today. Good job.